Okay, this is going to be a very quick overview of eukaryotic cells. Looking here, this is an example of just a model one. Uh, this is an animal cell and looking at some of the components and what basically allows you to look at this and define it as a eukaryotic cell. We're not going to go over any of the individual organelles. That'll be saved for another video. So first off, eukaryotic cells. The domain eukarya, what's it include? If you looked at my video on prokaryotes, you notice we talked about archaea and bacteria. Here we're looking at basically the rest, the protists, the fungi, the plants, and the animals here. These are eukaryotic cells. So what's a eukaryotic cell? Well, they contain membrane-bound nucleus. They have specialized organelles, a plasma membrane, and are actually, in comparison, much larger than prokaryotic cells. Some cells, example, plant cells, have a cell wall, and that's what this is indicating here. So the key part here is these membrane-bound organelles. That's what makes them distinctly different than our very simple and more primitive prokaryotic cells. These organelles, for example, are basically little compartments and they perform very specific functions. They isolate reactions from one another, so it allows them to be membrane bound. This is a nice representative cell. And there's 14 um, organelles basically identified in this. Other videos will go through these, uh, but if you're able to kind of recognize some of these, like what number nine is, Clearly, the mitochondria notice the folds in there. <clears throat> One and two, right? Nucleus is the larger structure. Nucleolus is the smaller structure in there, um, and so on and so forth. So again, being able to see the fact that this cell has organelles puts it in the category of eukarya, and then understanding what all of these do will be saved for another video. Two classes of organelles are endomembrane system. These are organelles that communicate with one another via channels. These are, could be the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and there's the other type of organelles, the energy-related organelles, the mitochondria and the chloroplasts. These are both independent and self-sufficient. They kind of generate their own energy. Notice a lot of folds in both of these, high surface area to volume ratio. Uh, the mitochondria present in all cells. And remember, our chloroplasts only present in plant cells because they go through the process of photosynthesis. A nice comparison between prokaryotes and eukaryotic cells. Good way to kind of go down the list and see if you can be able to recognize or identify certain characteristics of one versus the other. Being able to compare and contrast the two makes for an excellent um, quiz or test question. So going through and looking at the type of nucleus, remember eukaryotes have that true nucleus, that double membrane. Uh, prokaryotes just have a nuclear region, no really true defined nucleus. DNA is circular in prokaryotes, linear in eukaryotes, and so on and so forth. So you're welcome to, again, pause the video and compare the two, and look back at the prokaryotic video if you'd like to review that one, and be able to compare both of these different types, because you're probably going to see it somewhere in the future.